Welcome to the Distill Nation NZ Podcast. Uh, my name's Tom. I'm the owner and distiller here at Herrick Creek Distillery, where we are sitting today. Um, I'm joined by with my friend uh, Cameron. Um, Passionate whiskey consumer, not distiller. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Cameron's got a, a, a nose uh, and a, a descriptive detail that I just don't have when we're talking about spirits. So I'm really excited that um, we get to do this together. Um, I think it's going to add a, a huge layer to this conversation. Um, and the conversation... Yeah, what is that conversation, Tom? What yeah. are we doing? Um, we're going to talk about distillers, distilleries, um, all things pertaining to New Zealand spirits, um, but very, very localized to New Zealand. Um and I think that was the key. When you came to me with this idea that this was something that you wanted to do, it's because when we're looking online and we're listening to other, because we're both fans of the industry, uh, there's a lot of content coming out of America mm. about American spirits and bourbon, which is great. Yep, that's yep. fine. Um, and of course, there's a lot from the European scene, uh, Scotch in particular, but there's not, okay, New Zealand is a much smaller country. Yes. But we've got a very exciting, burgeoning spirits industry, um, and we want to be champions for that. Yeah, I mean, both of us are per- particularly, you know, we're primarily whiskey drinkers, right? Yep. But um, I think that, you know, when there's so much gin, there's vodka, um, there's liqueurs, you know, there's rum, a lot of really cool stuff being made in New Zealand that just doesn't get talked about. And, you know, I go to the, the Christchurch Farmer's Market every Saturday, and most people didn't even know, you know, whiskey or gin's made in New Zealand. You know, it's, it's oh, here's this uh, British brand, or here's this American brand I know about, um, and, and they've never even heard of anything from down here. So I think that's what this is all about. You know, we just want to inform and and, and just help talk about a bit more what, what's going on down here, right? So, I mean, it's it's got to be fun, because if it's not fun, no one's going to listen. <laughs> um, and as much as, as much as the world really needs another <laughs> podcast of two white men talking about whiskey and spirits, um, there isn't. Uh, enough being talked about New Zealand. What I found exciting is that on my own channel where Mm. I uh, review whiskey and and particularly what's coming out of New Zealand, Mm. I've had a lot of people comment underneath, not from New Zealand, saying, hey, this sounds exciting. This sounds really interesting. Where can I get it? Where can I learn more about it? And so I think there is an appetite out there, both, as you say, the people that you meet in the markets, Mm. And as well as those overseas who are interested in quality whiskey and gin and other and other spirits, they want to know what's happening in New Zealand. Absolutely. Um, and there's, there's just so much to go over as well, probably more than anyone would think. You know, there's more distilleries and more spirits being made mm. than probably most even enthusiasts would know, you know? So I think, I think there's, a, there's a plethora of, <laughs> of stuff we get to go through and... Luckily, on these sort of episodes, we're going to sit down, we're going to chat about a topic, you know, each each episode, and then we're going to pull out a couple spirits pertaining to that topic, um, and we'll get to chat about them. We're not going to review them, like, we're not, we're not going to say they're good or bad, um, you know, we're just going to give our honest opinion on how we, what, what they taste like, what they are, you know, just, just describe them, really, and yeah, if you're interested in them, then you can chat to us about them, you know? Absolutely. So, I mean, why should somebody subscribe? Why should they hit that subscribe button to hear from us for about 20 minutes, half an hour, every couple of weeks? Yeah, I think what you're going to find out is you're going to learn about new spirits, new distilleries, new types of spirits. You know, you might you might like whiskey, but you might not have known about the style of whiskey going on down here. Or maybe you didn't know there was a distillery local to you in here in New Zealand. You know, um, these are sort of things we want to just help educate people on. And um, it's also a chance for people to reach out to us and ask yeah. questions, you know. Um, if, if there's a question that's burning, you know, your soul on New Zealand spirits, just let us know. And if you're a New Zealand distiller, that's, that's something else that people can reach out to us and just say, Here, here's some news that we've got going on in our distillery, and we're happy to share that, you know. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that is, uh, it's not just going to be us. We want to hear from you if yeah. you've got questions or there's, there's a, a distillery or a, a spirit that you want to know more about. Please let us know. Do get in touch. We'll be over all the socials. Uh, and the email address is... So it's distillnationnz at gmail.com. Perfect. And, and in time, the aim will absolutely be to do some guest interviews and have some other distillers on this uh, on this format so that we can ask them questions about yeah. what makes 
their product so awesome. I think that's going to be an important one too. It's going to be really cool to, to hear from everybody. Let people describe their own spirits, you know, what they're trying to do with it. Um, instead of us just deciphering it, you know, I think that'll be cool to hear from the source as well. Um, so yeah, we're going to be on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, uh, and any podcast uh, that you want to listen to, any sort of system, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all of them, um, subscribe. And uh, I think that's about it for our intro, isn't it? I think so, but can't get away from the fact that Distal Nation New Zealand is proudly sponsored by Herrick Creek. Um, and so why don't we, on this inaugural one, crack open your dusky New Zealand corn whiskey? Absolutely. Let's so yeah. while I'm pouring, <laughs> what was... Oh, this isn't the Manuka one. No, this is, this is the first one. This right is the there. original yeah, one. Yeah. All right, so tell me, while I am pouring, you tell me about... Love it. You tell me about that. Yeah. Um, so our dusky corn whiskey is actually New Zealand's first corn whiskey. There was uh, never a commercial one uh, beforehand. Uh, and it's made from corn, wheat, and barley. And this first batch that we, we had was uh, all malted as well. So it was technically a single malt corn whiskey. Um, aged two years here in Christchurch, uh, little barrels. And um, it's it's I think it's quite different to your, your regular bourbon. It would be a bourbon, you know, if we, if, if I had made this in, a, in the States. Mm. But um, we made it in New Zealand. And, um, 46%, yep. 52% corn, 24% wheat, 24% barley, 100% malted, 5 gallon new American oak barrels, and then blended into one 10 gallon new European oak barrel. Yeah. Um, and every time I get to smell this one, I get, I just love it. I, this is my, probably my favorite batch of whiskey, just sentimentally, and like the, the way it smells is just awesome. It's like to me, there's this creamy, cream corn to it you know like it's not regular corn you know yep. it's cream corn like it's uh it's a little bit sweet and um gentle like it's it's velvety on the nose you know that's kind of what i get from it that that's a wonderful description that really is no i like that a lot well cheers cheers and now you get to listen to two men puckering their lips <laughs> it's got it's got a body and it's got a finish on it mm. and that's what i love is that it doesn't disappear right away that it hangs around and you get that wonderful warming yes there's vanilla like you'd expect but it's definitely it's got a hint of char on there as yeah. well it's almost like that um corn on the cob that you have cooked on the barbecue you've got a nice bit of like char yeah. on there as well slather and butter that's what you've somehow managed to, to <laughs> bottle in a glass I, I i can appreciate that yeah absolutely. <laughs> i even get a little bit of like burnt um well not burnt but like roasting marshmallows almost like you know yeah. that, that sort of flavor to it that like sweet burn yeah i burnt I, caramel almost like yeah that, that sort of thing yeah i think that's the char for sure yeah um but yeah Char on the barrels. That was a char three uh, on the barrel. Uh, the first, the, the the five gallon barrels, and uh, the second barrel, the ten gallon, the European oak actually was just toasted. Oh. Um, yeah, so it's more pulling about the the spices out of that wood. And that was an interesting decision, but maybe one for a different time. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you'll you'll come along. I hope you'll enjoy these these chats that we're gonna have. Um, this is just the introduction podcast, introduction episode. Um, so please follow along. Um, we'd we'd love to have you along on this you know journey while we explore New Zealand's spirits industry. Here's to Distal Nation, New Zealand. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.